Oh look, aliens. What do you know? Even aliens go to Cap Bijou in Coggeshall. I never would have thought that possible. Coming up in this video is a connection between what used to be the international store, Paycock's house and famous composer and some famous Coggeshall twins. Stay tuned. Oh, and aliens at the Bijou. Oh look, they've started to do takeaway now. Hi, that nice house is having some uh, work done to it. Two guesses where I am again, but uh, I'm down here for a reason, really. There is a connection in this place, so uh, a musical connection for me. We're heading up here. Paycock's house. We're not going to go in. But uh, I found out something uh, about some neighbours. There was an old picture that I've put up on the channel taken from sort of this sort of angle called Paycock's house and this house here. Two young lads standing outside of it. They were what is known as the Adams twins. Hubert and Hugh Adams, known as the Adams twins. The Adams twins, Hubert and Hugh, pictured here outside the cottage next to Paycock's house, possibly with their father, Ernest. Later in life, the twins appeared in a 1971 film, The Canterbury Tales, directed by Paolo Pasolini which was partly shot in Coggeshall and some of the locals like Hubert and Hugh were used as extras. They're shown here outside Paycocks in the centre of this picture here is Hubert Adams outside the international stores on Market End. Hubert would later serve in the army and he was also butler to Gustav Holst, the composer. During his stay at Paycock's house while recovering from an injury in 1923. He also left Hubert a bequest in his will. Gustav Theodor Holst, born Gustav Theodor von Holst in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire on the 21st of September 1874. He died on the 25th of May in 1934. He was an English composer arranger and teacher, best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets. He was a friend of Conrad Noel, who in turn was a relative of Lord Buxton, the then owner 
of Paycock House. Gustav Holst recuperated in the house after an injury and his daughter Imogen, then 16, wrote to a school friend This house is absolutely too wonderful for words. It is a dream and it is a great fun living in the dream. The house is supposed to be the best example of the period in the whole of England. The artists and architects make pilgrimages from all over the country to see it. We are tremendously proud of it and as it isn't our own we can swank about it to our heart's content. Imogen, like her father, was a musical educationalist, conductor and composer of folk song arrangements. And she was also associated with Benjamin Britten in the Oldberg festivals. She was the only child of the composer Gustav Holst and she is particularly known for her educational work at Dartington Hall in the 1940s and for her 20 years as Joint Artistic Director of the Oldberg Festival. In addition to composing music, she wrote composer biographies, much educational material and several books on the life and works of her father. That really clicked with me as something wonderful. With Coggeshall having so many remarkable connections, for me, having a musical connection is an added bonus. Anyway, that's Coggeshall's Gustav Holst connection. If you enjoyed the video, I'll stick it up there <laughs> and I'll see you in another video. Stay safe.